Hi Instable Gaming Fam and welcome to this video. This video is a special one for me because I do need something from this boss that I will talk a little bit about. This video is about Kraken. This is a Slayer only boss. But even while Kraken is a little version or has a little version, uh, you can only kill Kraken and the mini one on a Slayer task. So as well as the boss as the mini Kraken that is outside of the cave, you can only kill them on Slayer task and you do need to have at least level 87 Slayer, which is a fairly high recommended, but it's, it's not that hard. Just train your Slayer passively, just do some tasks. Um, when you have like the Desert Treasure steps completed, you can easily burst your Slayer task with that. Just try and go for Dust Devils, get your block task ready. And maybe I will make a video about how to set up your block task to get easier play Slayer points and stuff like that. Besides uh, the high Slayer requirement, there is nothing really special about this boss. There are no mechanics you should worry about. The biggest thing is that you need to know is the Kraken does attack with magic, but you cannot pray against magic. Uh, you cannot negate his damage. Uh, what I do, and you can also see that I use quick prayers, and my quick prayers are set for augury, but you can also go for mystic might, the one before that, like on the uh, Slayer book. Um, my Slayer does require level 77 Slayer uh, augury, uh, but the mystic might does require a little less. I'm not sure what level you need for mystic might, and it's pretty decent because you also get a big defense for magic so in that way you can negate some of the damage as i said there are a boss and there is a mini version i started with 192 on the task that you are seeing in this video and i actually always kill these with bracelet of slaughter so it went a lot up since the bracelet prevents the kill counts towards the slayer task so even though i started with 192 uh, there's a little chance that my Slayer task doesn't count to the Slayer task itself, or the kill doesn't count, and I can get easily over 200 kills, which also makes me a lot of more money. Uh, at the end of the task, I killed in total 248 Krakens, which means I killed 56 extra Krakens, and it comes down to an extra Slayer XP of 14,280, and the Slayer XP I in total gained during this task was 63,240 Slayer XP, which is pretty much. Um, even though this is a normal game video, um, I know Leaks is up right now and I am playing Leaks a lot. This is also the reason why I haven't uploaded very recently because, yeah, my attention is very, very big focused on Leaks at this point. Even though it's pretty grindy uh, but they are working on it I saw that there will be an update uh, tomorrow when this video goes out it will be tomorrow this video will go out probably today for most of the people on the 25th of January um, Kraken is even very much worth the kill because well since it's value you can get over millions of gold pieces an hour uh, but you do need a little bit of luck. Even while the drops you can receive are very good, it's just not the thing I am looking for. I just want one thing from this boss, and I'm after hearing people getting it below 200 KC, and I went mad once I hit 3000 KC. I spent like over the, over 1000 Slayer points to even get this task, so like I kept skipping, I kept wanting the Kraken task, because all I wanted was the freaking pet. And I didn't even matter about, I didn't even care about all the Slayer points that I used. Uh, I just wanted it. And, well, if I get it, well, you will see that later in this video when I'm done talking and I, uh, I might show you something. Um, this boss is actually pretty good. It's decent money per hour. Um, the last time I checked, it was like 800,000 coins an hour. And it's very AFK. You can just leave your computer for the entire kill, just eat one food, and, and just let it go. It, it's very AFK. Uh, I'm using a trident of the swamp 
extend it. That means it's just the Trident of the Swamp. Uh, it does deal po poison, but I'm not sure if it deals poison to Kraken. Um, but the extended version just means that I can have a ton of more charges uh, compared to the normal Trident of the Swamp. Uh, the most valuable drop from Kraken itself is a full Trident. Um, it is going for about 750 to 800k out of my head. Um, but also the Kraken Tentacle is a very nice drop. And it drops in a rate of 1 in 400. And the Trident has a drop rate, a drop rate of 1 in 512. Uh, you can get a Kraken Tentacle from the mini Krakens outside of this cave. But these drop in a fairly high drop rate. It's not fun to go for that one. Um, the mini Krakens also drop a trident, but these drop an empty trident. So you have to spend the cash and the runes yourself, so you have to buy them. And the mini trident goes for, out of my head, about 40k. And the big one goes for 900k. So in total, uh, yeah, you have to spend like 700k of runes and coins to fully charge it. Uh, for Iron Man, Kraken is really good. Um, it's a very good boss, not only because he drops very good items for magic, um, and also the tentacle. Kraken also drops two high-level seeds, uh, the magic seed and the torstal seed. And Kraken also drops 60 noted oak planks. So this means you can draw, you can get your uh, farming, uh, herb lore, uh, your construction even. And also you can get your cooking because he also drops noted uh, monkfish 100 uh, each time and he drops 50 raw sharks each time. Not every time, but he drops it in a fairly good way. Um, I will try to show you my loot app right now, what I got in total of the Kraken fight. And it's pretty much actually. Uh, the most important thing is the 90 battle staffs you see in the front. Uh, I also got 551,000 coins, just pure cash. Um, I, I always use a private instance, so I'm not sure how many private instances I use to get 248 kills, but it's probably between six or seven, I think, because I get about 40 kills a task uh, a, a, a time. Let, let's say seven. So it's seven times 25. I'm not good in math, but I will try to get my calculator. Seven times 25. I spent 175,000 coins just getting into the private instance. So 175 divided by 551. Um, the profit on the coins itself is uh, 367,000 coins because the private instance does cost money. And I'm okay with that because I can leave my drops on the floor for a very long time. They will not disappear and nobody can crash me when I'm inside the cave. Also, you see the noted herbs, uh, what I was talking about, uh, four magic seeds and the Sanfu serum. Sanfu serums are actually pretty decent. They heal a lot of prayer and Sanfu serums are mostly used in my head for the nightmare boss. Um, yeah, as a lower level Iron Man, I would not advise you to go to the Nightmare Boss, but even me, I, I got a pretty good account at this moment. I never went to the Nightmare Boss and I'm not planning on doing it because it, it, it's hard. I, I don't want to. Um, also, the runes that it drops is pretty decent. Uh, you see some more seeds, you see some rune items, so High Elks is a bit, of, uh, bit over there, some antidotes. And some seaweed. Yeah, I'm not using the seaweed. And the 30 seaweed you see on the uh, second to last row, the 30, uh, that's the edible seaweed. So that's an extra piece of food that you can use to stay longer inside the cave itself. All with all, it's a very good boss. It's a very nice boss to actually kill. And I really like it. And I will try and show you a clip right now on one of my happiest moments inside this game um i hope you enjoyed this video uh give it a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye